Hello, beautiful human. Thanks for clicking or tapping on our conversation with Stray Kids. I have a crazy glare in my glasses today, but that is not going to bring me down. No, no, no. We have a lot to discuss with Stray Kids, including an entire Christmas album. Hello. Plus, they released another album a couple months ago. And yeah, I miss them. I miss them so much. Please leave your honest feedback in the comment section below. Hit like on our video. Share our channel with those you care about. And please subscribe. And today's conversation is coming at you courtesy of our friends at State Farm. I love State Farm the most. They're the best. If you're looking for proper deals, there's a link in the description below. Okay. Stray kids, here we go. Let's do this. Hi, beautiful human. Uh, I'm Zach, and I'm here with Stray Kids. It's been a long time since I've heard that in person. <laughs> yeah, it's been like I mean, I mean, we we would have been um, much more happier if we could actually have this, you know, in person in your studio. Because yeah. last I remember, it was just such a great time. Yeah, yeah. it was really comfortable. So uh, we miss the place. Yeah, well, yeah. We're here for you whenever you come back and whenever you can come back. I mean, you guys were such a joy, and you still are a joy. And one, like, I'm very extraordinarily jealous of your cardigan. Like, I have <laughs> oh, yes. sweaters, and, you know, I've been, like, rocking a lot of needles cardigans recently, and that is a gorgeous piece. Ooh. Oh. <laughs> we'll see if I can send it to you. Oh, God. <laughs> can he be, like, the sisterhood of the traveling cardigan? I think that would, you know, it'd be a nice story. Um, <laughs> we, have, we have a lot to dive in here. Hi, Felix. By the way, how's your? Hi. You have an amazing accent. I remember your accent like you were speaking this morning. To me. Really? <laughs> oh man, I'm glad that you know you remembered. So it's been like a year since we've done. Um, it's been more than a year. Yeah, it's been much longer than like two years. Two years. So yeah, it's, it's what, good to be back. It's an honor to have you all here. Uh, truly, what is time like? Do you guys have moments where you have nothing going on? I mean, obviously the pandemic happened, so like, you know, everybody had some sort of freedom, I think, but you guys did a lot, like an exceptional amount. And even now, I mean, we have a whole Christmas body of work to dive into. You, you're you coming off of a major album. So like, do you guys have free time? Um, well, we get it, like, Sometimes, yeah. sometimes, um, yeah. Sometimes we have a day with like just no schedule, and um, or if it's not that, we would have like you know free time in between schedules. But um, yeah, like you said earlier, somehow we're still alive, and um, I guess in those break times, we each have our own ways of you know spending that the yeah. time to recover. So um, yeah, um, if we do give you a quick recap, um, for me. Oh, in my free time, I just been trying to sleep as much as I can. Yes. Sleep and uh, what about you? Um, when you like, a free day, uh, watching, watching like those stuff. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Watching videos. Videos. Oh, okay. Doing nothing. Yeah. Doing, doing nothing. Doing nothing. Doing nothing. Doing nothing. Yeah. Also. What about you, Champion? Uh, I worked out very hard. Yeah. Um, yeah there works out. Yeah. Um, I've been watching Netflix. Yeah. So, yeah. What do you Netflix. watch? I watch. <laughs> um, I watch. Uh, and I started Marching. watching a drama called Suits. Suits. Oh, yeah, no. the American classic that gave birth to Meghan Markle. Duh. So yeah, it, it's so fun. I just keep watching it whenever I have time. So yeah. Nice, nice. It's fun nice. watching. Um, what is it? I usually take uh, vocal lessons. Oh vocal yeah. Lessons. Yeah, mad respect for that. Yeah. Yeah, looking to grow and challenge yourself, get better. That's sick. I mean. You all also made a lot of music, and you you have an exceptionally large hand in the creative process of what you all do. Is that, like, fair to say, as I did a bunch of, I mean, I, I, I know you guys, but I also did a whole additional dive dive into the most recent stuff. I mean, you guys have a writing credit, like, on, on every song, so you are creatively doing a lot, I'm assuming, often, yes? Yeah, yeah. Um, well, ever since debut, ever since pre-debut, um, we have been trying our best to really, you know, work on our own music and really, you know, creating our own music because we feel like it's really important. If we're going to be, you know, 
um, a group that does music, that performs on stage, you know, that really, you know, tries to entertain people that's in front of us. We believe that we should be the ones who are responsible for the music that we perform because, you know, it's like a, it's like a, uh, how, how do I say it? It's like, um, I mean, it has to be ours in order for it to be, to feel more genuine, if you know what I mean, yeah. like on stage, like mm -hmm. we want to express a message. Um, if we wrote the lyrics and the feelings to the song, um, that expression might, you know, be a bit more genuine. And so we think that's really important, especially when we're making music. So that's why we've been you know, trying our best to keep on making music and we are, are still making music. When you're creating a body of work, are you trying to tell one story like with noisy, no easy? I don't how, What's the right way to say it? Oh, you say noisy, noisy, whatever you're comfortable with. It's great. It's really, really creative. Who comes up with that title? Um, I think, wait, I think it was Chung yeah, it was like, I think it was Chung Bin's idea. Yeah, we had like an uh, album title, um, meeting with each other, like thinking about ideas with the thing. But um, I think Chung was the one who was like, oh, this is so, like, Shikiana, this is very not easy. And then it was like, oh, what if we, you know, use the word no easy and make it noisy? They both sound, you know, similar. And then that's how we came up with the, the title for the album. Such a great yeah, so idea. It's a good title. Very good. Thank you for When you guys are uh, like starting a body of work, starting an album, do you try to figure out one story to tell, or do you just like how do you attack it? Like, do you see an album as one story and like songs as chapters, or do you see each song as like its own thing, and then you figure out what what, what the overall message is? Well, um, I'm pretty sure you know because um, you know you've been, to, you've been into us and you've been like discovering what we've done. But um, I guess starting from our, our debut, we did have like an album series, you know, um, with like its own story base. But ever since our first full album, that's when we really just started putting in whatever we want, whatever we write, whatever we want to just tell. Every song's different. Everything is really um has its own character. And uh, we've really been, you know, just doing that making music just that's just really different. Just putting it into the album. Um especially the full albums. And um yeah, but if there's like a concept to an album that we have to, you know, um keep, then I guess we could write music, you know, in order like according to that concept. So I guess it's just different. But um yeah why we'll get back to to noisy in a second but why a christmas album why do you want oh. to a christmas album? <laughs> why i mean why not <laughs> yeah, why, why not? not you're not wrong but like by the way christmas evil is hands down the weirdest most unique christmas song i've ever heard like <laughs> that's a good way to put it done it actually good done way it. To put it. <clears throat> i mean that's that's what crazy song so, um, if you feel like that, I'm actually really, really happy. Um, we did want to try and, you know, be different and make a different um, Christmas type song. So, yeah. Um, yeah, that's what we try to best to be as weird as possible. So, thanks, Zach. And by the way, like, maybe weird's the wrong word, but it's, like, also honest. Because, like, the holidays are stressful. Like, they're not a great time. One of the lyrics loosely, uh, you know, translated, it, it's getting colder, I'm burning my anxiety, not firewood. I mean, like... <laughs> Truly, truly, like, like honesty, honesty at its purest form. Like the holidays are anxiety ridden. Like right, yeah, right. my palm. Yeah, so that's how we um came up with the title. Christmas is evil sometimes. I mean, it might be joy for others, but if you think about it realistically, it can be you know kind of tough on us sometimes. Like even in the lyrics, it says, you know, snow is beautiful, yet when it falls on the ground, it's like yeah, mm -hmm. you know, so. Um, yeah, that's all we put, wanted to put into the song. So uh, thanks for realizing that. Thank you very much. But where does that come from? Who goes like, let's do not mm. an anti-Christmas song, but it is kind of like, it, it's not cheer, it's honesty. So like, who? how do you guys come up with that concept? Now, I, I remember this. Um, we were we were in our dorms and we were like, all right, what should we write this time? Like, no, oh, we, yeah, we were writing a Christmas song. What should we do? And then I remember these two were like, we have to make, a Christmas song that's Stray Kids style. That's yeah, something yeah. that's different. We need to do something different. And I'm like, yeah. okay. okay. That's that's something that I'm like, what should we talk about? And we're like, 
<laughs> what should we talk about? And then I think Chang Min Chang Min was like, well, I mean, but not, I mean, Christmas isn't always the best for some people. Yeah. yeah. I mean, like sometimes the holidays can be very um, yeah, difficult and sometimes it's not the best. So um, that's what we went with. I think it's pretty genius, to be honest with you. <laughs> oh, thanks. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> uh, 24 to 25. Mm-hmm. One of the lyrics Lucy translates to the snowstorm that always fell. I'll shake off all the tiring days I had this year now. Lean on me mm-hmm. today. It's kind of like more of a love song, right? It's like you and somebody else, like going from Christmas Eve to Christmas Day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, I guess that's that's kind of the image that I was going for with like the whole... Um, Love it your romantic vibe, but um, it's you I mean I mean because if the title is Christmas Evil and it's something very spicy, yeah. I mean we do have to put in some warm milk and cookies yeah. into the album too. So but that's why we came up with twenty four to twenty five, um, to really just you know give more of a real Christmas vibe. And um, I guess the overall message for the song was you know because there's a lot of people who have basically had a very stressful. I mean not stressful but like a tiring two thousand twenty one. So I just wanted to say, you know, it's all good. I'm here to, you know, listen to um, all your um, thoughts. And, um, yeah, I'm here to shake it all off. So um, let's have a good Christmas is what 2425 is about. But again, like another song that's like rooted in holiday honesty, when I think a lot of holiday songs are just totally Im- imagination. You know what I mean? Like not many yeah. holiday songs are actually rooted in any sort of like, what we're all feeling and going through it's more about what they want you to feel as opposed to what's actually happening yeah i get that too it's really nice i mean why did domino find its place and how did it find its place on there um domino i think um yeah yeah international yeah really good yeah it was okay. Did you listen to it? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Duh. Yeah. yeah, it's great. And <laughs> really, oh, English lyrics. You got three of you right on this one. Felix, you show up on this. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Yes. yeah with um, the English lyrics too. Yeah, that's true. Um, I think even like when our No Easy album came out, um, a lot of people definitely enjoy um, the Thunderous song. But also the fact that just listening to Domino. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was like, everyone like, kept on listening to Domino and everyone was really hyped about it. So I think um it was a really good idea that everyone thought, you know, oh, why don't we make an English, English version, version of Domino? Yeah. And then, yeah, and then everyone was even more hyped about it. So I think that was a really good idea. Yeah. Make it English version. Yeah. To, to reach more people. Throw it on the Christmas album, baby. Yeah, yeah. It's like another gift. I love yeah. it. Yeah, special one. So how often are you guys creating or like, do you jot down inspiration all the time? Like, do you make time to go to the studio? Like, what is your creative flow like? Oh, wow. wow. Um, well, I mean, I'm pretty sure you know, but like, we basically have no time. Like, we're really busy, like 24-7. But um, I think it's in those break times that we try to fit in, you know, just um, Trying to make music sometimes we make music when schedules end but um it's different for everyone i know han um writes a lot of music um when he's when he just wants to write music he just writes music um me and champion on the other hand we're kind of like um i think we're the type of people to kind of s- not schedule but like just um when inspiration comes then we like make music hey that's that's what me and champion and um yeah, but like even now we're still making music. Um, we're still thinking about what we want to write about. We're still, you know, jotting down notes. Yeah. And um, yeah. What does like the success of God's Menu, which is like the most unique title right out the gate, but like does that the success of that song at least sonically set any tone for how you guys create moving forward, or do you learn anything from making that record that you carry with you? Well, well, God's Many did go off. Yeah, it did make a really yeah. big impact. Um, and it was for our full first album as well. But um, and I think it's our very first music video that hit two hundred million views. Is that right? Right? right. You think so? Yeah. yeah, it hit two hundred million views. So um, that that was that was yeah. God's Many was 
really crazy. Mm -hmm. oh, do it, do it. Oh, 일단 그걸 만들기 전에는 저희도 저희 음악에 대한 확신을 잘못 가졌던 것 같아요. That's true. 신 메뉴를 만들고 난 이후에 정말 저희가 이제 하는 게 맞는. 다른 확신을 이제 음. 저희한테도 많이 yeah. 받았고 혹시 그 이후로 자신감이 되게 많이 생긴 것 같아요 저희 막 가능성이나 뭐 저희가 가는 길이나 예 꿈이나 그런 게 되게 확실해진 것 같아요. So what I just said was um like before God's Mini we really didn't have we weren't that um I guess like we didn't really know what our music was like still like we would make our own music but like we we're like is this is this the right music for straight kids this is what we thought but after releasing god's menu that's when we really realized okay so this is this is what straight kids is this is what we are really most comfortable and most confident in doing so that's that's the impact that god's menu had um another funny story is um i don't know if you know but like before we released god's menu we actually had another song that was you know meant to become the title but um we we all together as a group we were like we don't think that song is meant to be we think god's menu is what's right and that's when i guess like, our big like, boss our big boss in company so mr jyp he was like <laughs> all right if the kids are confident with this we are going with this and that's how we did like a like a really big out of nowhere yeah. big turnover like the right at the end and then that's how we just changed everything but yeah, the, that is huge and also a little scary because like one like one now the pressure's on you so if it doesn't go well it's i mean you know it would be your fault technically and then two if it works to your benefit it actually happens which it did like do you feel like you gain trust and you gain confidence um i mean uh, yeah. uh we're not doing this all by ourselves um of course we have you know company to also help us out right um so uh we are very confident when we make our own opinions and we you know give our opinions to the company and they listen to it and then we you know figure things out but um there have been a lot of times where we would you know really express our opinions to the company like last year's mama for example yeah. Yeah. we were really um debating on which song to perform but right. we had the idea of victory's you know, song, victory song and that song. was that actually you know had a really big impact as well but um so yeah so our opinions i think really really matter and um i mean our big boss um said it himself he does he doesn't really touch us but um he does you know try to help out when he, when he can and we you know ask him for help as well but um, as much as he, you know, let us be us, we try our best to take responsibility for our own actions and um, our opinions as well. So um, I guess a really big thank you to our boss for, you know, letting us be what we are. Yeah. Very mature, very cool. And do you feel like that's like a blessing? Do you do you do you acknowledge that as being rare in in, in at least in, in music in general, by the way? Mm -hmm. I think it was. I, I think it is really rich. Can I tell you? Yeah. For, you know, um, for someone who's boss of a big company to, you know, let his artist do whatever he wants. Like, yeah. you don't really get that sometimes, but um, I guess he's done that with us. So we're really, really thankful. And like you said, we do feel really, really blessed to, you know, be able to have that. Chance. But also, like, you guys do it all, like, you, you, it's not all you, but creatively in the studio, you are, you know, you, you guys are the fuel. It's really, really cool. And and by the way, the music is amazing. Like the production oh. is really unique. The stories you're telling are ones I've never heard before. And I listen to a lot of music. So mm -hmm. like, I, I'm very interested in like what goes on in your brains. And, and <laughs> <laughs> well, um, our brain cells are all shared. Uh, we all share the, one, uh, the same brain cell. Uh, we are all a mess. We are very chaotic. Yeah. And uh, yeah, every Everyone, schedule, yeah. every schedule is just really loud and really, really fun. Everyone's different. Yeah. And like. um, <laughs> we we have that in the studio as well. We have that in the practice rooms, and um, and it's usually um, yeah, it's it's different how everyone carries it sometimes you'd be yeah. a chung bin who'd be like 
all high five and we'd be all high five. Sometimes it's this guy who's high five and we'd get high five. Yeah. And it's just really fun. I was thinking, um, like, since everyone's different, I was thinking of the scene from Simpsons, how there's like a monkey clapping. Oh, yeah, I was yeah, thinking yeah. that, oh, I think that would be me. So, like, oh, everyone would be different. Yeah, everyone's I thought that would be pretty funny. But you, do you feel like all your songs end up representing all the different shades of the members that make up the group? Yes. Wow. 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 Yeah, it does. Sure it does. Yeah, because I mean, we are all chaotic, but you know, we're all human, so we do have our own emotions. Um, we do have our own feelings. So um, every song, yeah, it actually does have its own color. Like for example, if you think about. I guess um, a song called Sorry I Love You by Chung Bin. Um, it is a different um, vibe. It's a very different song that we've released, but um, it's also something that's very, something that we can do and something that we feel as well. So um, yeah, we have a lot of like ballad, ballad tracks. We have a lot of um, energetic tracks. We have really um, simple tracks. Like it's all different, but in the end it all identifies us. I love I love the chance that you guys gave um, cheese rapping pot. Oh, I mean, I wanted him to rap. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. he did a good job. Yeah. So. <laughs> yeah. Hello, beautiful human. I had to hit pause real quick to talk to you about deals. We all love a great deal, don't we? Like savings, markdowns, and lunch specials. But when it comes to car insurance, you should know that the right place to go is an easy choice. It's State Farm. State Farm offers surprisingly great rates for your ride. Your friends don't have to have a special connection or even call in a favor. State Farm has options for everyone, like ensuring your ride and your home, getting you great rates on both. Why are these such surprisingly great rates? It's what you get from State Farm, coverage that meets your needs, because seriously, insurance shouldn't put a hole in your wallet. Those good neighbors are in your corner. No promo codes, no waiting around for holiday deals, and no sales section. State Farm fits your life at a price that fits your budget. So when your friends ask where to go for surprisingly great rates, you tell them State Farm. Because like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. Call or go to statefarm.com for a quote today. Back to Stray Kids. I, I, love, I love the chance that you guys gave um, cheese wrapping pot. Oh! oh. I mean, I wanted him to rap. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. He, did, rapper. he did a good job. Yeah. So. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so good. So good. By the way, like, if you want to listen to any Stray Kids music, there's going to be a link in the description below. <laughs> Obviously, you probably have listened, but you should listen again. Cheese is so good. The names. Who's coming up with the names of these songs? The names. The, names. the title of the song, it's, it's, I guess it's us three. Yeah. And, um, the Rush. Yeah, we we try while to, while making hmm? while making the tracks. Yeah, while making the tracks, we think of the title and uh, yeah, thunderous cheese. Sorry, I love you. Secret, 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 secret. What else is there? We have um, we have so much. We have surfing. Wolf gang. Wolf gang. Wolf gang. How do you know a song is done, finished, ready for people to listen to? Could I get? That's, mm-hmm. that's it. Oh, um, well, last chunk in this one. Mm. Oh. <clears throat> mm. ah, I mean, um, <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, 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 Ah, um, so what Chamin just said was, first of all, he, it's, it's just like that unexplainable feeling that you have. Mm. It's just like, oh, I don't know. It, it's <laughs> done. It, there's that. Yeah. And also, um, that when he can imagine members singing it, that's another one. And also, um, the moment when you can imagine performance, yeah. that On is when we know, okay. This is done. Yeah, this this is crazy. Um, another thing that I wanted to pick out was you know our song uh, side effects. Yeah, that like <clears throat> compared to the guys, when you hear the mastered um song, like like the track, like you can you can hear it. It's like it's just different. Like the scale is so crazy. 
Same with our um our latest songs as well. Um, the mixing and the mastering and stuff is really really important. So especially for thunders as well. What part about like what part of the creation process fulfills you the most or in the deepest way? Wow. This is like yeah. Um Wow. Give us a moment, Zach. Great. Hang on. Interesting question. Uh, recording. 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 Mm. recording. Recording, like cutting vocals. Um, that the recording moment, yeah, that actually really feels fulfilling. Um, when we finish me making the the guide itself, that's really fulfilling as well. Um, I think the members might um agree on this one. But so when we actually perform the song, oh mm. yeah, that's when we feel very very. Feeling. Yeah, I think also when um like for example we made the track and then we filmed the music video for for mm -hmm. that for that track mm -hmm. and then once we get to see the full you know music video all together I think that's one of the moments where we feel like uh, you know this is mm -hmm. perfect like, yeah. You know, yeah like I mean um it's perfect in our own way so definitely just looking at that I think mm -hmm. that's one of our moments where we feel fulfillment. We have a lot of music. Yeah, yeah. we have a lot. I, every, yeah. every track. Good. I, I remember. I remember when we all watched um, Thunderous. Yeah. Yeah. We we were all like, oh, it's done. It's, it's finished. Done. It's, it's done. done. Oh my gosh, it's done. Yeah. That, that, felt, that felt amazing. Yeah. <laughs> the yeah. 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 It's yeah. like a physical thing too that you can see. It's like this. You know, it's an even more vibrant represent like visualization representation of what you built and created from nothing like that's mm -hmm. the coolest thing about like songs is that it literally starts as zero it starts as negative something actually because you have to come like it starts literally from god i can't it's crazy it's so music is wild so oh, it is wild. you have like what do you think of for 2022 obviously like we're Mm -hmm. we're, we're we're leaving 2021 in the in, in the rear view baby so future 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 do we have future 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 future, future, future. future. um future. well in the future wow one thing's for sure is we really 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 want to perform in front of our yeah. fans yeah. our stage um we really 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 want to go on a world tour um we because we didn't even get to finish off our last one i mean that itself is just really really upsetting so um yeah i mean if everything gets better um we really really hope to visit america visit europe visit you know, wherever Asia. So, yeah world tour mm -hmm. yeah that's we one really of the go on biggest tour. dreams biggest dreams do you want to release more music or does it oh, of course music though without touring it <laughs> of course, of course. I mean, we still haven't gone touring with the first one. Yeah, with our first time. Yeah, we got some new to do. Oh, that's true. Yeah, yeah. yeah so wow. Yeah, yeah. 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 So like, yeah. we have so many songs that we we still haven't even performed yet. Yeah. That itself is just really, really heartbreaking. So um, if we really quickly want to go on tour. Um, and yeah, we're definitely, you know, release new music as well. So, um, look yeah, with that I feel like, um, the tour we did back then and compared to now, it's going to be much different. Mm -hmm. And so like, honestly, the songs like Shin Menu and then there's um, oh, God's Menu, mm -hmm. Backdoor, and then we have Thunderous. And then on top of Thunder. that, if we have so much more than yeah. definitely stays will be very, I guess, satisfied. Mm -hmm. so, okay. That's what we really look forward to. Yeah. How many so like unfinished songs do you are you sitting on right now? Unfinished songs. Unfinished songs. Unfinished songs. Wow. Um. 20, I mean, two hundred. Mm. Nah, nah, nah. <laughs> two hundred. Two thousand. I think. Two thousand. Why is something going in there? I think. Bye, man. It's really much. Um. So, Chamney said. Um. I mean, not. I guess we do have a few um unfinished songs, but we do have finished demos that haven't been released yet we have a lot of those yeah and um 
I can't really say the number. I don't know. I don't know how many there are, but there are a lot of unfinished songs. There are a lot of demos as well. So yeah. Um, yeah. I mean, if we get the chance, of course, we love to you know release all of it. Yeah, but, but um, things come into your head every day. Yeah, there's everything new that's coming to our heads every day. Um, that's how we just keep make, writing music. Yeah, it just happens. So, question: You mm -hmm. end up winning this show. Kingdom Legendary War. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. This is a huge deal. Yes, it is. It is. Is it, um, is it taxing? Do you learn things about yourself and each other from competing? Um, yeah. Definitely for Kingdom, we've definitely learned a lot of things. For example, um, I guess, um, you know, whenever we're performing together on stage, but on a much bigger scale, we tend to learn like how to dance a little bit more detailed or for example um how to sing um this note or how to sing to this song so like there are definitely a lot of there were a lot of events where we you know we're trying to find out you know oh how can i do this or how can i do that i guess there were a lot of challenges throughout yeah Kingdom. so yeah definitely very memorable yeah there were, there were a lot of challenges oh. but um i guess the fact that we could you know really um you know defeat i wouldn't say defeat but like overcome those challenges we as a team we actually you know, yeah. bonded even more and uh, we know what we're confident in we know what you know our our um, everything our pros and cons we know that more than anyone else and um the fact that we could actually you know in the end you know come in first place that itself was just really exhilarating and um I was. I felt so proud for the members as well. Yeah. Um. Everyone did their jobs. You did a good job. Yeah. You did a good job. Yeah. You did a good job. Everyone did a good job. It was just. It was just so crazy. And um. Last but not least, um. It was all thanks to state as well. Mm -hmm. yeah, it was all because of state that we could get this, you know, this grand prize. So, thank you to everyone out there. Yeah. Did you think you were gonna win? <laughs> oh, no. well, definitely not. Oh, no, actually, actually not. yeah. You never know can't um, imagine what results are gonna come like at the end. So um we we did not know what the results were gonna be like. We did not know if we we're gonna win, but we what we did know is that we were gonna be um confident and really, really um hardworking with our own performances. And that's all that mattered was um results didn't matter as long as we were happy with our own stage. That was what's most important for us. Yeah. Hey man, but you ended up winning, so that's pretty cool too. Well, yeah. Um, I guess. Thank you to everyone out there. <laughs> Thank you, Shay. Uh, your accents are the best. Like, <laughs> like um, you can you can still understand us, right? <laughs> are you for real? It's like I feel like you may speak better English than I do. I believe. Oh, I don't know. No, no. no. no, no. I don't We're just worried about no. if our accents are a bit too strong. <laughs> I, I have a friend who is a, a, a Kiwi, but he grew up in Australia and- Oh, wow. Oh, oh wow, that'll be- <laughs> I'm trying to understand, that would be really hard. Yeah, I can, I can imagine. I can, I can imagine. You can't understand. What they, they speak, he insists that he speaks like perfect, like the Queen's English. Like he's like, speaks a better version of English than I do. Like. Oh, <laughs> well, um, we haven't heard how he speaks, but uh, this Half is how he speaks. Yeah, you can go stronger. Yeah, his is pretty strong, and he uses like all the different like he uses all the words that like I'm like I don't know, you know. Oh, okay, so it'd be like um, I guess like fair dinkum, like Arvo Mackers. Oh yeah. Um, How about sweet as I don't understand sweet as. Do you oh really? Sweet as oh wow, oh, sweet as bro. Yeah. Oh, that's God. actually yeah, that's one of the words we yeah we use, use a lot. lot. I use sweet a lot, like sweet. That's sweet. I use yeah, nah, yeah, nah, nah, yeah, 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 nah, yeah, nah, yeah, nah, nah, yeah, nah, yeah, nah, yeah, nah. Say oi still. Pardon? Oi. Oi. Yeah, we said a lot. Oi. Oi. I say that to the members. Oi. 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 Yeah, I, by the way, I don't understand sweet as, sick as, because it like, you're leaving it blank. Like you're comparing it to nothing. You're you're the, the phrase is saying use your own imagination to come up with 
the most extreme thing to uh-huh. 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 Yeah, that's true. <laughs> it makes no sense. It makes no sense. <laughs> Yeah. I mean that that is uh that is the Australian accent. <laughs> we make no sense. I spent a lot of time with an Australian yeah. as of recent, and like you know, I've really picked up on a, a significant amount of just conversational habits that I'm obsessed with. But oh. I'm, yeah, I'm obsessed with it. But also, like some of them just make no sense. And that is one. <laughs> I mean, yeah, we agree. It, it doesn't make sense, but um, we go with it. Yeah, we'll just go with the flow. Yeah, <laughs> just go with the flow, baby. It is what it is. Um, gosh, we've covered a lot here. I highly recommend that you listen to Stray Kids' Christmas body of work, their Christmas album. It is really great and really unique, and you even like kind of pay tribute to Feliz Navidad at the end of it. Like, oh, man. Feliz Navidad. Feliz Navidad. Yeah, like, where are you all at when this is, like, coming into your head? Like, um, okay, I'm, I'm actually responsible for this one, but um, I don't know. I, I thought of this part for Felix, mm-hmm. and I don't know, it's just Feliz Navidad means Merry Christmas. Yeah. And um, I don't know, Feliz and Felix just sound so similar. So and I was like, you know what? I'm just going to do this. I'm just going to write it. <laughs> so, um, I mean, in the end, the whole vibe of the song is, you know, Christmas is evil. But, um, you know, Feliz never that, Feliz never that. I can see the evil coming. But in the end, you know, Felix is never bad. He's on. He's not on the naughty yes. list. He's on the good yeah, list. So, <laughs> yeah, that's what I wanted to write. But everyone's so hyped with that. Yeah, I saw I saw what? like a TikTok trend. I was like, oh, Whoa, what? There's like a dance for it. What? Yeah. Dude, yeah, I was like, that's production cool. on records is so unique. It moves so well. Like you guys really create bangers. You create <laughs> bangers. bangers. Thank you so much. Thanks, thanks Zach. Really good stuff. Uh, I highly recommend that everybody listen. Please listen. Um, I mean, obviously, 2022 is on the horizon. What are y'all doing for Christmas? Do you get a chance? To family? Do you Christmas. Have- yeah, we, have plans. Plans. We, we do have plans for Christmas. We have um, a performance to play. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 And, um, yeah. Um, I don't know when this yeah. is coming out, but I can say that you know you can really look forward to it. Yeah. It's going to be hectic. It's going to be sick ass. Yes. <laughs> sick ass. It, it's a performance, yes. Yeah, yeah, well, yeah, it's a huge performance. Is it at an award show? What is it? Um, um it's at um. So in Korea, we have um these music shows, yeah, and mm-hmm. it's broadcasted by different um broadcast things, music programs, yeah, programs. But um, yeah. for the end of year, um, they have like a special episode where it's just mm-hmm. really, really big, and um, so every every artist would prepare for it, and we prepared in our own unique way, uh, unique way. But um, so this one is by um in a broadcasting place called SBS and um it's usually broadcasted on Christmas. Yes. So um that's when we'll be performing. Yeah. Sick ass. Sick ass. Sick ass. Sick ass. <laughs> you guys are really, really something special. I really appreciate you all taking the time today and hanging out. I mean, do you have resolutions? Do you have things that you can look back at the last year and then look forward to the future and be like, hey, I want to grow in this area. I want to change this. Like, do you, mm-hmm. have you taken time to reflect a- at all and look for areas of growth as we enter into something totally new? Wow. Um, that was pretty deep. Was that was deep. Deep. <laughs> deep as, dude. I mean, um, we're happy with what we're doing. Mm-hmm. Yeah. We're really happy with what we're doing right to just you know think about like other stuff of, uh, about ourselves we're really you know enjoying what we're doing right now um we have so much fun you know, performing in front of you know our fans in front of stage yeah. making music for them that's just really really 
just so good and we're having so much fun. So it's very exciting as well. So we are planning to, you know, continue it on. I mean, because this is what we are enjoying. So we have to do what we enjoy. That's it. This is your passion, right? You're living out your dreams. This is our passion. Yes. And by the way, you could tell in the music that you guys put out there. It's really, really, really good stuff. So I thank you, one, for making music, and two, for taking the time to hang out today. And I. Oh, no, I mean, thank you oh. for, you know, spending time with us. I mean, so like so earlier, we really wanted to be there with you because yeah. last time we was just so good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Very so comfortable. Yeah. So comfortable. Yeah. But um, thank you so much, Zach. That means the world. And by the way, hopefully 2022, we will be together in person. A manifest. Oh, please. I mean, we'll invite you to a concert. <laughs> oh, that would be good. And also, like, I kind of want to go to Korea. Like, I don't travel. Like, I go nowhere. I've seen nothing. Like, I am very much a sheltered individual. I, I have oh. people from foreign lands. Like, well, that was the kind of same as me. <laughs> same as him. I, I'm like, I see nothing. I do nothing. Like, I don't know, but I need to get places. And uh, I think South Korea needs to be on my list. I feel like people, like, you know, I feel like I'd get along well there. Yeah, I mean, oh. um, I mean, you've, you know, you've, inter you've interviewed a lot of people, but um, I'm pretty sure if you come to Korea, um, let me make you a food. Yeah, we, we'll <laughs> take care, we'll take care of you. We'll, yeah. we'll introduce you to so many stuff. I mean, we've got a Korean barbecue. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. There's so it's much to enjoy. Feel yeah. free to come. Oh, I you know what? As long as I'm not alone. That's like one of my greatest fears. Is like you know, oh, uh, okay. I mean, um, you have eight of us, you have the eight of us. So um yeah, feel free to join. Uh, you know what? I'll let you know. S seriously, I I I will make a trek to at least a couple countries in 2022. I need to. I, uh, the world is so vast, and I, I see none of it. So mm. I'm coming at you. And uh, please, right. listen to Stray Kids music. Link in the description below. Happy New Year, Merry Christmas, y'all. Uh, thank you again. And that cardigan is so phenomenal. <laughs> this, you know what? I get it. 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 Say no, dude. Like, if you want, we can set up like a cardigan trading system. Like, what if <laughs> and then I'll do a cardigan? <laughs> going. I'm not kidding. I, you know, because that's a good way to get a healthy rotation and flow. You can't wear the same cardigan all the time, you know. Yeah, that makes yeah, sense. Of course, it definitely makes sense. <laughs> Let me know when you make the system, yeah. Yeah, of course. Like, come on, you think about it and uh get back to me. You know? All right, cool. Yeah, we'll right. hit you up. Cool. Anyway, thanks for your time, Zach. Thank See you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Have a good day. Happy New Year. Bye bye. Hey, beautiful human. Thanks for watching our full interview, but I get it. Like, a full interview is a lot. So, we got a clips channel. We don't expect you to watch the full thing anymore. So, we just gave you the highlights. Please subscribe and uh, notifications and all that stuff. Okay, cool. I love you.